hey guys what is up so this is the official flip through of my previous bullet journal so starting in 2019 the very first year i started out we have my very first theme ever which was this solar system theme that i decided to do in colored pencil now starting out with bullet journaling i did not know that there was this beautiful thing called simplicity to it so i went all out with this theme colored everything in and it was just it took so long that I was like I don't know if I even want to continue to do this and I just use midliners and stuff like that this was before I got my Tombos so it was mostly just colored pencil and then moving on to May I decided to buy some brush pens and they weren't that good to be honest but they were they were okay and the theme was lotus flowers and that comes mostly from my mom's side of the family they just my mom absolutely loves a lotus flower so for June things start cooking we got an ocean theme and it was really fun to do and this was when I was taking chemistry so that was there was a little page for that but otherwise just a really fun theme and then I wanted to continue that animal theme with my outdoorsy animals and as you can see my habit trackers have changed quite a bit from the past and again grade tracker account too and this was just a fun theme so originally I used to do cutesy chibi kind of drawings as you can see from here and nowadays you see a more realistic maybe a little more a little still cartoony there and then moving in august i wanted to do a theme for the person that i was with at the time and he loved video games so yeah this kind of uninspired me because i'm not a huge gamer i just did my best because it was his theme but as you can see whenever we get to september i just wasn't in spirits so september starts kind of late and there's only 15 days my bad there's only yeah about 15 days actually that's correct moving into october my theme was spiders and if you know the popular lucas the spider then you know where my cover page came from still flipping on kind of more simplistic different just muted tones and everything and then moving on to november yay my birthday month so of course i had to go all out with this red panda theme and as you can see, I still use mostly just pens and a little bit of color every now and then with these themes. I don't think it was until January of the next year that I actually had the Tombows and started really digging deep into it. So it was mostly just gel pens and stuff that I used for these themes. And of course, December was just penguins, just cute little penguins everywhere. And then originally for this journal, I was going to move into 2020 with it, but... I realized that I would have to immediately switch over to my next journal, so I just decided that, okay, after setting all of this up, including some stuff for January, I had started working on this lemming theme, and y'all get to see take two of this in my next journal, but everything was just set up to be in this journal, but I realized there weren't enough pages at the end, so I just kind of used it for scribbles and stuff for the rest of it. And otherwise, we're moving on into 2020. Yay! The year COVID all started. <sighs> Anyways, so moving into January. Well, first off, here were my spreads. So 2020, I had my year at a glance, kind of used it. I had these music, movie, stuff like that, and I kind of didn't use that. Goals were meh. Dorm room checklist, I was obviously going to university, COVID wasn't a thing quite yet. Getting there though, and then my stationary testing, and then of course my Polaroids, yay, my Polaroids of living, and just a lot of fun, and yes, this is the face reveal I guess for you. January, the lemming theme, lemmings love to jump off cliffs for migration, so that's what that is about, and then still a kind of simplistic so moving into February, my theme was snow leopards with these cherry blossoms and cherries. And this was one of my favorites to actually do. I was originally going to do a realistic theme, but it didn't happen. Maybe we'll get it eventually because I'm doing better with my drawing skills now and I'm actually taking the time to try to do more realistic looking animals. March, oh March, koalas and avocados. Yes, this one was so much fun for me. However, I think April maybe takes it for one of my most favorite that I have done. Anyways, so of course we just have avocados, more avocados, and this weird washi tape. This was kind of when washi tape came in. So April was a puffin and citrus theme. 
and my best friend Jojo loves puffins and so this was her theme. This was what I wanted to do for her. I can't exactly remember why I chose to do it for April, but it was wonderful. May, I decided to do this classic vinyl feeling with these hummingbirds because hummingbirds are very musical and lyrical and everything, as you know. And I kind of just quickly skipped into June because nothing really happened at the end of May. So this is when I started Physics 1. Yay, physics. So I wanted something bright and colorful to get me through this very dreary time in my life as you can see from all the grades and everything. So moving right along, study, study, yes, all the studying, everybody. I was quite the studier. And then July, I did an otter and watermelon theme. Again, wanted something bright because physics two was starting and finals for physics one were just around the corner as well. So yes, this was all of my colors and I just wanted colorful things to make me feel better. And I feel like that's just my go to whenever things are going to get very scary is just bright colors and I probably would have done this the same. August was when I was starting out in my new university. I was a university student. Yay, end of junior year. Let's do this thing. So colors, more colors because of my anxiety as you can see and I love this flamingo and lay theme. So yeah, that too. September we're going back into a little bit more of a comfort muted zone. This was when I had to move back home unfortunately due to COVID and health reasons. No, I did not have COVID-19. I just unfortunately was sick from another thing involving my kidneys, which we're still working on. Anyways, lunar moths and mushrooms, enchanted forest kind of theme. Some stationary testing, eventually moving on into October, the harpy eagle and moons and i only did one harpy eagle for this because this was when i was slowly going into that realistic style and this was mostly for tristan because yay tristan loves harpy eagles and i wanted to do something more dark and simplistic for october just to get a break because i've been doing so many bright themes and i just needed a small breather especially since september was such a horrible horrible month for us moving into november again my birthday month I wanted to do something that involved alcohol because yay 21 never actually had wine even nowadays but i thought it was a bit more elegant with the musk deer and the musk deer is just a deer that has tusks it's also referred to as a vampire deer by some people it is not though and then moving into december oh this one was so hard to actually figure out what i wanted to do so i just decided to do a glacier kind of theme with this weird three colored four color pattern with seals because I absolutely adored the harp seal that I used for this one. And after that, this theme kind of just wraps it up for me and then there's info on Shadow's medicine and stuff because he was sick before he had passed away, unfortunately. So that's it and a little drawing of Tristan. Also to mention me and Tristan got together in June. That was the one dreary thing that did not exist and a setup of what I wanted to do with my office space at this point. And then a scrapped idea for a theme. I was originally going to do snow out with kind of a field meadow type thing. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through.